Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about MyPyC, uh, which we talked about briefly before in a video about whether types make code faster. I will link that in the description. Uh, but I figured MyPyC kind of served its own video, and I wanted to show you some of the cool things that it can do. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into it. All right, so for today, I have a bit of code that I pulled from my Advent of Code uh, 2020 Day 23 Part 2. Um, code isn't important. I've made a few changes here because there's a, a few things that MyPyC doesn't support. Uh, for instance, double under file, uh, and it does support following imports, but I figured I would make a standalone thing that's just one file. So this this actually comes from a, a package that I uh, put external to this, but I just copied it into here. But other than that, it's basically the same. Oh, I've also deleted the tests because <laughs> uh, MyPyC had some issues with PyTest. So. Uh, but anyway, other than that, it mostly supports uh, any typed Python code. And uh, I'm going to first show you the um, the slow version, which is uh, CPython implementation. This actually takes about 20 seconds, so we're going to fill this with something else. <laughs> uh, but the, the way that MyPyC works is it takes typed code, and it generates a C extension for those modules and compiles it down to code that can run much, much faster than interpreted Python. Uh, so it allows you to, you know, cut some corners because it knows about the particular types. Yeah, so you can see here that it took, you know, almost 22 seconds while running with CPython. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this module and I'm going to recompile it using MyPyC. Uh, so to do that, we're going to do virtual MVM and we're going to pip install MyPy. Now note that your code has to be typed for this. So if I were to take, you know, part2.py and remove, uh, you know, a type here, and then run MyPyC on this. I believe it'll error. Uh, or I guess it'll just generate slightly less uh, perfect code. <laughs> Let me put this back so that we get, you know, an actual typed typed uh, output here. Uh, but basically what, it do, what it'll do is it'll take your code and it will recompile it as a set of two C extensions. I actually don't remember what the difference between these two C extensions are. I believe one of them has MyPyC related code and the other one is the uh, the C Python part of it. So it allows you to kind of differentiate the typed part and the untyped part. Um, but if we look here, you'll see that we generated, oh, actually this only generated one. Hmm. Well, last time we ran this, it generated two, but <laughs> we've, got, we've got one C extension here. Uh, note that C extensions don't support running directly from the command line, so I can't actually just do python-m part two uh, because there's yeah it errors and says there's no no available code object, so we have to instead do this with dash c and do import part two part two dot main, uh, but nonetheless it's it's basically the same, and you'll see that the mypyc compiled version of this is way faster than that 21 seconds we were looking at before. So you can see this this completed in in just over eight seconds. So what's that, like a 60% uh, performance improvement, 67, 63% performance improvement, uh, which is pretty significant. So if, if you write, you know, typed code, MyPyC can potentially speed it up by quite a lot. Uh, now, no, no, you can also just run this with PyPy. Uh, PyPy actually does it even faster than MyPyC, but it's still pretty impressive to run C Python compatible code um, this quickly. Now, yeah, PyPy, <laughs> PyPy can do a lot better with its JIT compiler, but anyway, this is still, you know, pretty impressive numbers. Uh, to compare some other numbers, I ran this through Nuitka, which is another, uh, you know, take pure Python code and generate C code from it. Uh, Nuitka came in right around 20 seconds, so it shaved off, I don't know, 10 or 5, five to 10% of the execution time. Uh, I didn't profile Cython, though Cython would probably perform similarly to uh, do Nuitka. Um, but yeah, MyPyC, pretty, pretty impressive here. Um, the other thing that you have to worry about is MyPyC will follow your imports. So if you're importing a third party library, you need to have some amount of type steps for that because otherwise it can't optimize the code without really knowing the types. Uh, but if it knows the types, it can go super fast. Uh, but anyway, this is kind of a little bit of an intro to MyPyC. Uh, oh, actually, one other thing that's kind of cool about MyPy, uh, MyPy is actually self-hosted through MyPyC. So there was a recent release of MyPy, well, recent, I guess it was probably about a year ago now, 
where MyPy started uh, being compiled with MyPy C and went from a pure Python form to the C form. Uh, and that made MyPy like three three times faster or something absurd. <laughs> um, but yeah, MyPy is, MyPy is self-hosted through MyPyC. But anyway, hopefully this is interesting. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.